Hello friends, welcome back. Now we are going to continue with categories. Actually, we have done with categories. Now I'm going to work on pagination to get the data for different pages, right? So let's refresh this page and you can see we have alert. It's all because of uh, we have given an alert function in our manage category page. And uh, the point is we don't require this data in this home page, right? This is the data of manage categories page here, right? So why we are loading this uh, data in our home page and in the in, and in the same way we are loading all the functions which required for dashboard page in main categories manage categories page right so uh, we have only one page main.js for all the functions required in in this uh, dashboard page and we are using the same page for manage categories so all the function will also be loading there and we don't require that uh, code and that functions right so it will slow our application it will slow our, our application so we have to create a new page for managed categories uh, that will be more efficient compared to this and our application will be more efficient so let's move on managed categories first remove the alert function from here and take this managed category code from here so cut this and create a new page inside JS new file and uh, let's save it as okay I'm going to save it as manage dot JS save get the uh, first line of code which is this one and paste here close the brackets okay it's done now let's take again so cut it from here cut and paste here save this and uh, so in our manage category page here is main.js page so i'm not loading all the functions of main.js i just need one manage category code right so it is manage.js save let's save all once save all refresh this page and we are in the first page right or oh, you can see we don't have any two option right and we don't have alert let's visit the main uh, dashboard and here is the only the functions of main.js manage category has only the functions related to manage right and let's uh, visit the get bootstrap.com to get the pagination codes right so let's get started and look for components we have components and inside components i'm going to get codes for pagination and here you can see we have pagination this is scroll and here you can see we have very good pagination and very simple so it is good and uh, we need just uh, class pagination we need a uh, li tag uh, we need ul tag right inside we need li and then anchor tag right we have given only anchor tag in our pagination code so we need ul li and class pagination page item and page link so let's get at so now let's work on pagination here you can see we have uh, manage.php and here we have previous and here we have pagination right so here i'm going to put the ul tag and with class equals to pagination and so here is the opening ul tag and here we we need a li tag with class equals to page hyphen item and here we need a class equals to page hyphen link close the li tag first Okay, and uh, take this or copy it from here, paste here, here also, and here also. Now close the all the li tags. Close here.
so all the li tags are closed now we need a class page link copy and paste save it now we need to also close the ul tag so this is the end okay. refresh now you can see we have the effect here and uh, so now here is our main.js function and here i'm passing one for the first page here i will receive as a parameter pn and here i will again pass it page number colon pm save this is the same right this one save it and in the here we have process.php and once the managed category is set then we need to pass the parameter dollar let's go post and page number save and uh, so let's take now it's working fine so we have uh, in manage.php we have a class page link for all the anchor tag right so i'm going to target this anchor tag to get the id to get the number page number right so remove this uh, href we don't require href here and put here hash tag take a attribute pn equals to we need a previous put the previous here same for href here we don't require here so cut hash take attribute pn equals to so let's remove this Hash tech pn page number. Let's remove this. Is our attribute pn it is not html attribute you can write anything page number p number and whatever you want next so we have done uh, next i page number and i again and previous so save this and let's check once again so now it is fine and in our main manage.js file and here write dollar body dot delegate so the pa uh, class is page hyphen link so when this class is delegate event will be click and we will run a function right so it's an anonymous function so when someone click on page link we will get the instance where page number equals to dollar this uh, on the particular clicked item right so this dot attribute we have given right now which is pn get it and put in an alert function as pn save this refresh now click now we have one now two we have two fine next we have two now let's uh, get it and call manage category from here and pass pn as a parameter save it now refresh once again and uh, we are in the one first page now we are in the second page editing software parent is software laptop electronics test we can go previous we can select the next page we can select the first page everything is working well and uh,
so uh we'll in the next video we will start work on uh we don't require uh, we don't need to do a lot of effort efforts because we have done all the things we just need to call our functions here we have already written manage pages uh pagination function sorry not this page. we have already written manage uh, record we just need to pass the name of table for example if you will pass the brand table we will get the brand data we will pass the product table we will get the product data right so in the next video we will do all these things thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe